Meanwhile, also from New York, the largest anti-Wall Street rally since the credit crunch happened yesterday. Thousands of workers and trade union leaders marched in anger over lost jobs, ruined lives, and they're demanding answers from the source of who they believe is responsible, who's the source of the trouble, the banks. RT's Anastasia Cherkina takes us to the streets of the Big Apple for more. It's not every day New York becomes a site like this. Traffic comes to a halt in the financial district as rallying crowds swamp the streets in the biggest anti-Wall Street demonstration since the U.S. was hit by an economic crisis. These thousands of people in New York City represent the millions all over the United States. What do all of them have in common? The feeling of outrage, a sentiment which has reached its peak in America. In a loud call for accountability, people want an end to the mess on Wall Street. Even nine-year-old Sam knows that something is not right. They're just doing the reverse of Robin Hood. They're stealing from the poor who need their, all their things to live and giving it all to the rich. It makes no sense. Because of the scams of Wall Street's fat cats, millions of Americans lost their homes. Millions more lost their jobs. When the top 1% of wealth in this country controls political decisions, when the money that comes straight out of banks goes to bonuses instead of taking care of some of the problems that we need, and that same money goes to pay for the politicians that make those decisions, people should be damn annoyed. Instead of bailing out the people, the U.S. government made the taxpayer foot the bill for the too-big-to-fail companies. Time went by, and no one was punished for creating the economic tsunami. If I did that, if he did that, if he did that, we'd be in jail. All right? They'd call it a racket, a scam, and we'd be in jail. They got away with it, and they got bonuses to boot. Just months after being kept afloat by common Americans, bankers again began spending hundreds of millions of dollars in bonuses. We need good jobs, and we need financial regulations to make sure that this never happens again. All of this outrage is not making too many bankers bite their lips in shame. Record high cash is being spent on an army of lobbyists to make sure they work 24-7 in Washington to prevent financial reforms. And the financial district is going about business as usual. Except now, the bull on Wall Street is no longer being rubbed for luck as a symbol of financial optimism, but needs bodyguards of its own. Anastasia Churkina, RT, New York.